ladies and gentlemen welcome back to zero to six motoring once again my name is bill and today it is my duty to tell you more about this car this is the nissan patrol y62 series so the nissan patrol y62 series and the Toyota land cruiser 200 have been on each other's throat for quite some time now for around 12 13 years so if you want to stand out of the crowd maybe you don't want the common land cruiser because it's now everywhere this should be the nearest alternative to that car so welcome to zero to six motoring and if you have not subscribed to this channel make sure you do that because each week we are releasing a new video So the Nissan Patrol Y62 is a full-size SUV that sits at the same table with the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series. If you want something bigger they like, uh, that can also be more luxurious, you can look at the Range Rover, Vogue or something like uh, the Lexus LX570. But of all those four cars I've mentioned, the Nissan Patrol is actually the cheapest. So let's get the basics first before we get deeper into this review. So the Nissan Patrol actually these are Y62 series rolled out of the production line back in 2011. That is around uh, three years later after the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series had already dominated the market. So at least I guess that one is what I gave uh, the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 uh, let me say uh, somewhat a head start ahead of this uh, Nissan Patrol. Because when you're looking at the sales of the Nissan Patrol versus the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series this car actually does not get anywhere or even have the sales that the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series makes but is it as good as the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 let's find out so the dimensions of this car this is actually a very big car it will be let me say it will make a presence wherever you are parking it because this car is slightly bigger than a Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series because it is more than five meters long it is around 2 meters high and around 2 meters wide. So it's a very big car which should also be a challenge when it comes to parking in tight spots. So you should at least practice your parking skills before getting this car. Now how does the face look like? This is a 2015 version so that if you know a thing or two about Nissan you should know that this is a facelifted version. So this facelift at least gave the Nissan Patrol a more refreshing look because the first generation that is at the 2011-2012 looked a little bit older and old school. You have this big grill here which is a very aggressive actually and it's very attractive. You have this uh, Nissan emblem badge here. You have these big chrome finishes here along this uh, grill. You have this massive uh, headlamps with these daytime running lights with a C-shape. Uh, let me say they have a C-shape pattern. You are down here, you have uh, fog lights here, of course with these uh, chrome finishes to improve on how this car looks like. It is actually a humongous car, even from the, this phase, even the bonnet here is actually pretty massive. Uh, if I'm um, uh, to describe it uh, that way, car it is uh, like 2 meters uh, from uh, this uh, ground to this, the height of this car is like 2 meters. It comes with this massive, these are actually 18 inch, actually not, yeah, 18 inch. Uh, wheels with a very thick rubber because this is an off-roader that should go anywhere and then you have this uh, 70th anniversary of course uh, to improve the overall uh, aesthetic to, uh, aesthetics of this car you have these uh, let me say side steps whereby people will be stepping on and uh, they are actually pretty good and then because this is an off-roader that should go anywhere and make sure it comes back home you have 27 centimeters of ground clearance meaning that getting over obstacles should not be a problem actually so it's actually a very big car even from the side profile you can tell it is a, it should make a presence wherever it will go it's now time for a cabin tour in this uh, patrol y62 while i'm looking at a 2015 uh, options this interior at that time it we could not say that it looked bad but when you're buying this car at the moment it may look a little bit old school and dated but then for a big car like this one and something like, like the natural rival of the Land Cruiser 200, this is the typical interior you are getting, a minimalist interior, because they just want to keep things very simple here. The Nissan Patrol actually is a very big car. Inside here it feels like you are, you are in your house actually. It is uh, finished with this uh, leather, red, uh, it's, uh, let me use the color red, it's a uh, reddish uh, leather 
which looks uh, pretty fine actually and then this is a car packs all the let me say a plethora of off-roading arsenals because these are two off-roader that should take you into the forest and most importantly it should you bring you back home we have a uh, different uh, driving modes here we have sand we have snow we have on road we have uh, rock and then we also have a hill descent control button so we have a differential lock here we have a traction control button here and then we, we have these low and high range gears in this uh, center console we also have two cab holders here for your drinks of course and then here we have this actually this is a cooler box so if in case you want to have your drinks uh, very cool you want to mean them to maintain a, a very low temperature you're going to store them here so this is a cooler box or you can call it a fridge if you like on this center console also we have a usb port here of course to keep your phones charged and then good thing with this a patrol y62 it has this sunroof here of course to improve uh, the overall the, uh, to give you an ambient lighting in this car so a very cool feature actually in uh, an suv this car also comes with the uh, heated leather seats uh, heated seats of course to improve uh, your uh, of course to make you a little uh, comfortable when you're traveling in this car so what are the engine options when it comes to the patrol y62 if you're purchasing a right hand drive nissan patrol y62 it's good learning that it only comes with one engine option actually it is a 5600 cc naturally aspirated petrol v8 or if you like a 5.6 liter na v8 it makes a healthy 400 actually brake horsepower and a staggering 516 newton meters of torque now when you're looking at uh, modern engines maybe you may learn that uh, there are smaller engines that make uh, that there are actually 2000 cc or 2500 cc engines that make the same amount of power it is because this car actually has no forced induction system in the form of a turbo or even a supercharger that's why maybe the powers may not be commensurate with the size of this uh, car now that power is channeled to all the four corners of this car via seven speed automatic gearbox so that tells you that the Nissan Patrol Y62 with a 5.6 liter does not have a manual transmission. That, in, that is in case you want to assert your manly character in this car. Now this is actually a full time four wheel drive car with of course a bunch of off-roading arsenals and then now uh, when you have uh, such a big engine and a uh, enable gearbox this car should be able to do off-roading without any issue now speaking of uh, the engine option here most probably you're interested to know how is the reliability of this nissan patrol y62 now when you have a 5.6 liter natural aspirated petrol v8 that makes 400 horsepower 560 newton meters of torque something that a small engine can do it tells you something this engine is actually unstressed and it, it is it is easy to make such an amount of power from a big engine that tells you it is an engine that will be reliable because it does not struggle to make any amount of power and that is what contributes to the overall reliability of this car actually this car is also as reliable as a land cruiser and as reliable as a lexus lx570 for big engines uh, these are 5.6 liter here the 5.7 liter in the 570 the 4.6 liter petrol in the land cruiser 200 series because they are naturally aspirated that's why they won't be having any problems because when you're looking at uh, let me say like german cars you'll find them uh, with a uh, smaller displacement but they compensate with that displacement using a turbo or a supercharger but when our engine is plain without any forced induction systems it is going to be easy to live with even the, co the engineering is actually pretty simple not as complex as something that has a turbocharger or even a supercharger so you now know why the nissan patrol y62 is among the most reliable suvs out there now speaking of uh, reliability away from reliability when you're purchasing this car fuel economy discussions are not something you really want to get into when you have a 5.6 liter v8 petrol and a car that weighs more than two tons but then if you want to know this car actually averages around five kilometers per liter that should tell you something if you are struggling this should not be the right car for you and actually the fact that the nissan patrol y62 only comes with a petrol flavor 
it is the reason that gives the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series a head start. The Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series actually comes with a three engine flavors, 4.5 liter diesel V8, 4.6 liter NA petrol and sometimes in other markets a 5.7 liter shared with a 570. So in such a case the Land Cruiser has a variety of engine options while this one has only one. So for someone who does long travels uh, frequently they'll prefer the, uh, the 200 series with the diesel flavor and that is what gives and that is what makes uh, the Land Cruiser sell better than the Patrol Y62. So even with the uh, with the, the when you're comparing even the petro petrol variants this one actually has a thousand cc extra than the land cruiser 200 which has a 4.6 liter that tells you this is not among the most most uh, fuel efficient cars in the segment of course if you can manage to meet the price tag of this car you should also be able to afford fuel for this car that's why i was saying fuel discussion fuel consumption discussions are not something you really want to get into when you have a big suv weighing more than two tons displacing 5.6 liters that is like three premiums here with some displacement left or if you like you have like four axios here accommodation wise the patrol y62 will tick all your boxes decent amount of headroom decent amount of mirror and because these seats are actually electronically adjusted you can easily find your driving position you can uh, actually it, it they have memory settings you so you can adjust the steering wheel to the level you want and then immediately you hop in, into the car you'll just press one or two and then the car will be able to remember the position with which you had adjusted the seat and the steering wheel last time how about the second row seats the second row seats of these are patrol y62 are also pretty accommodative and very comfortable to sit in you have acres of knee room a decent amount of uh, headroom and uh, the seats are comfortable you're not going to struggle whatsoever when it comes to long distance travels you're purchasing this car most probably you are a family person and it's good learning that the nissan patrol has a third row seating let's see how the trunk space or boot space of these are y62 looks like is it accommodative the tailgate for these are y stick is actually electric so you just press it that way to open up yeah that way so this is the amount of room you have actually with this uh, patrol y62 when all the seats are in position this is the only the amount of a trunk space you have so if you want to make this car practical of course you have to lower the third row seats but even with the all the seven seats or uh, actual eight seats in position this car is still more practical than a total land cruiser 200 series so when the car is in five seater mode only the five seats are in use this is the amount of room you have it's actually pretty accommodative and it will swallow all your bags and uh, luggages the nissan patrol y62 2015 price tag uh, plays around 10.5 to 11 million shillings Actually, if you do your car shopping well, you can even get a patrol under 10 million shillings. It is cheaper than a petrol Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series, which plays around 11-12 million shillings. And way cheaper than the diesel flavor Land Cruiser 200, which can also be in the north of 13 million shillings. And uh, further cheaper than the Lexus Elect 570, which is the, in the north of uh, 15 million the reason the nissan patrol y62 is not as common as something at like a total and cruiser 200 it's because that the production for this car came a little bit later by three years and it only comes with one engine flavor the absence of a diesel engine in the nissan patrol y62 it's the biggest disadvantage or the biggest letdown or deal breaker for this car but of course maybe because uh, in the past uh, some diesels of the nissan have been um, have proved uh, troublesome i guess that could also be the reason why nissan offered the y62 with a petrol engine only now this is a question i get a uh, plenty of times which is the better car between the nissan patrol y62 or the total Land Cruiser 200 series if it is me as a car reviewer i'll go for the nissan patrol y62 but most of the people are going to go for the total land cruiser 200 not because of the reliability reputation because the patrol is also reliable it's because the land cruiser has smaller engines which means better fuel economy 
and then the Land Cruiser can also give you an option of a, of a, of a diesel variant. And if you're new here, of course, I've already reviewed a total Land Cruiser 200, talked more about the three engine options, and even I've already reviewed a total Land Cruiser LC300, that is the 2022 version. You can check it on the channel. So people who are uh, torn between this car and the Land Cruiser 200, maybe you should check them side by side, maybe run a test drive, that is when you'll know what is the better car to take home for me of course the nissan patrol y62 checks more boxes it's more unique it's not as common as the total and cruiser 200 series so i guess guys you've now known more about this car and if you are new on this channel of course remember to subscribe to this channel because that is the only way you can help this channel grow all right guys see you on the next one